Let's get started today in a cross legged seat. Any version of cross legged seat you would like. If the tailbone is tucking down, option to bring a block under the hips to lift the hips up. As we bring the palms to the knee, face down, look around you. Heart is over pelvis, head is over heart. Crown is reaching for the ceiling. Taking a few rounds of breath here. Settling in. As we inhale, the arms reach up, shoulders are away from the ears, root through the sits bones. Navel pulls up and in towards the spine. As we exhale, left palm comes for right thigh. The right hand rounds behind the back. Sitting nice and tall to the spine here, the crown pulls towards the ceiling. Shoulders are away from the ears, giving yourself lots of space in the neck. Pull the breath deep into the belly. As we inhale, navel, chest, and gaze return. Arms reach up on the inhale. As we exhale, left palm comes for right thigh. Or right palm comes for left thigh. Crown of head is pulling towards the sky. Twist is coming from the knee. Pull the breath deep into the belly. As we inhale, navel, chest, engage, return. Arms reach up. Exhale, palms to heart center. As we come to a tabletop position, wrists are under shoulders, knees are under hips, navel is pulling up and in, chest is pulling through the arms. Inhale, tailbone, chest, and gaze, reach up. Exhale, push them out of the way, round through the spine. Inhale, Navel or tailbone, chest and gaze, reach up. Exhale to round. Inhale to neutral spine. Tuck the toes. Like you're opening two jars with the palms, shoulders rotate down the back. Low ribs tuck in, belly button is engaged here. As we exhale, the hips come up and back to downward facing dog. Knees can be bent, allowing the tongue to reach for the sky. Heels melt towards the mat, chest pulled towards the thighs. Low ribs are tucked in. As we inhale, bend the knees, gaze comes forward. We hop, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Wave the spine forward, crown of head pulls forward. Exhale, keep the navel pulling up and in as we fold. You can bend the knees here. Tailbone reaches for the sky. Heart melts towards the mat. Root through all four corners of the feet. As we inhale, rise up, extended down. Shoulders are away from the ears. Tailbone is down the back. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale to reach up, extended mountain, grow long through both sides of the body. Exhale, hinge of the hips, lead with the heart, bend the knees as much as you have to. Keep the weight even in the feet as you fold down. Inhale to halfway lift, crown of head pulls forward. Exhale to fold. Inhale, plant the palms, step back to high plank. Option to drop the knees, pull the pubic bone towards the chest, shoulders push away from each other. As we exhale, slowly coming forward and down, chaturanga. Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog, shoulders are away from the ears. Exhale, hips come up and back, downward facing dog. 
bend the knees. Knees comes forward. We hop, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Feet land hip width distance apart. Root through the base of the big toe and the pinky toe. Inhale to halfway lift. Nice flat back here. Shoulders are away from the ears. Exhale to fold. Root through all four corners of the feet. As we inhale, lead with the heart, rise up. Extended mountain shoulders are away from the ears. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale to reach up, extended mountain. Exhale, keep the weight even in the feet as we hinge forward, forward fold. Pull the heart towards the mat, tailbone towards the sky. Inhale to halfway lift, roll the shoulders down back, open the heart space, don't lock the knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale to plant the palms, step back to high plank. Option to drop the knees here as we exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to down facing dog. Bend the knees. Gaze comes forward. We hop, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Root through all four corners of the feet. Inhale, lead with the chest. Rise up, extended down. Exhale, palms to heart center. Step the left toes back. High on the ball, the left toes are option to drop the left knee. Right knee is over the right ankle. As we inhale, arms reach up, high lunge. Navel pulls up and in, tailbone is down the back. Thighs are spiraling together. This is gonna lift you up. You want that upward current of energy. As we exhale, bring the palms back to the mat. Plant the left palm on the mat. Option to bring it to a fist, maybe bring it to a block. As we inhale, the right arm reaches for the sky. Gentle twist here. Shoulders are away from the ears. Right hip pulls back, left hip pulls forward. As we exhale, bring the palms back to the mat. High on the balls of the left toes. As we inhale, fingertips are on the mat here. Micro bend in the right knee as we start to straighten out, lifting the left toes. Dial the toes down towards the mat. Standing splits. It doesn't matter how high this leg goes. We want that upward current of energy, not locking the right knee. Hands can come up onto a block, down onto the mat, maybe even wrap around behind that cat. Chest is pulling forward. Sweet exhale. Set the toes down along the hands. Turn with the face, the left, the long end of the mat. Right knee over right ankle, pushing out towards the pinky toe edge. As we inhale, windmill the arms up. Warrior two. Tailbone and shoulders are down the back. Arms are shoulder high. Nice and centered in the body, not leaning forward or leaning back. Inhale to quick lift the right palm, pull the body forward. Exhale as we come up and back, reverse warrior. Keep that knee pushing out. Inhale slowly back to warrior two. Flip the palms to the side. Micro bend in the right leg here. As we inhale, pull the body forward. Exhale, we teeter totter down into our triangle. Only using this right hand to open the heart. No weight is tagging into it. It's all core that's keeping you lifted. Inhale, bend into the right knee, come back up, warrior two. Turn the toes to face the long edge of the mat, both of them. Hands can come to hips, or hands can be at heart center. 
micro bend in the knees. As we exhale, we start to reach the tailbone for the sky. Melt the heart towards the mat. Option to keep the arms down in front of you, rolling the shoulders down the back, working on that nice flat back. Or you can crawl the hands in line with the arches of the feet. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. As we inhale, we start to crawl the hands towards the left toes. Left toes turn to face the front edge of the mat. Option to drop the right knee. Thighs are spiraling together. Left ankle is under the left knee. As we inhale, rise up high lunge. Always the option to stay high on the balls of those right toes. Shoulders are away from the ears. As we exhale, bring the palms to the mat. Right palm roots into the mat as we inhale, the left arm reaches for the sky. Exhale as we come back to the mat, high on the balls of the right toes. Left knee is over the ankle here, keep a micro bend in the leg as we inhale, the right toes take flight. Dial the toes down towards the mat. Nice and long through the back, long through the neck. Chest is pulling towards the thumb. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that leg lifting up. We want that upward current of energy. As we exhale, set the toes down behind us. Heel to heart to line it in the feet. I'm going to turn around here so that you can see what it looks like from the front. Left knee over left ankle, pushing out towards the pinky toe edge. As we inhale, leap with the right arm, rise up to warrior two. Shoulders are down the back away from the ears. That left knee is pushing out towards the pinky toe edge. Tailbone is down the back, chest and crown are reaching for the sky. Inhale. Flip the left palm, pull the body forward. Exhale as we come up and back to reverse warrior. Shoulders rotate down the back. Gaze is through the left armpit. Neck is long here. As we inhale to warrior two, straighten the left leg. Micro bend in the knee. Flip the palms forward. As we inhale, pull the body forward. Exhale, we teeter totter down into our trend. Only using that left hand to open the heart. If the back is rounding here, you can bring the hand up higher on the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to warrior two. Palms come to heart center. We turn the toes, take a big step or a couple of little steps to the front of the mat. Inhale to reach up, extended mountain. Exhale to hinge the hips, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, plant the palm, step back to high plank. Here for one deep inhale. Exhale as the hips come up and back to downward facing dog. Heels are pulling towards the mat. Shoulders are rotating down the mat. As we exhale, bring the knees down, opening them as wide as the mat. Big toenails come to touch. As we exhale, slowly sinking the bum back towards the heels, child's pose. Pull the breath deep into the belly, allowing the inhales and the exhale to be even. Maybe pushing that space between the eyebrows onto the mat and rocking the head back and forth. If the forehead doesn't come to the mat, you can use a block, maybe even the fist, 
anything to just kind of give that little warehouse of our knowledge and intuition a little bit of pressure. We inhale to tabletop position. Sway the legs out to the side, come to sit on the bum. Soles of feet come to touch. You can bring the heels in towards the bum, or you can keep them out a little bit further. It just changes where you feel the stretch. As we inhale for length, exhale, we start to hinge forward. Maybe using elbows to open our knees. Maybe bring the hands to the feet. Give yourself a little bit of a massage here, rubbing the toes, the ankles, the soles of feet, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. If you have a little bit of lavender or peppermint oil, feel really good for a foot massage. As we inhale, slowly coming back to center, straightening out the legs, we make our way down for our final resting posture, Shavasana. Snuggle the shoulders behind the heart space. Hands come out to the side, palms up in a gesture for seat. Legs are out long. If this is too much for the low back, option to bend the knees and keep the soles of feet on the back. Crown of head is long, neck is long. Taking a moment here, releasing all control of breath and body. Seven. Thank you so much for joining me here today. It's always an honor to be able to guide someone on their journey. Delight in the honors and cherishes the light in you. Namaste.